Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27 to September 2nd 2018. Now before we go to the tarot reading guys, in case you do want a personal reading with me, um, everything you need to know about it which is literally only my website uh, is written down there in the description of this video and as well we are running here a, a summer's end sale which adds uh, a 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes uh, service. So if you do um, want an, an extra time you go for the 30 minute service, uh, service straight away. So that being said we are going now to the um, to the tarot reading and uh, one second, we do have three, so we're gonna take one more because we do have four cards for it. So, <clears throat> these are the positions of the tarot reading here. Now, the first position does represents the topic of your week, and then we do have the second position that says the core of the situation. Third position falls as the um, difficulties or the predicaments you have to face and you have to cope with for the duration of this week and the last one is about the guidance that you should follow here. Now let's see what we do got. Now this will be the five of swords so it does look like that this week is not going to be easy on us on us Scorpios because the five of swords as a topic points to the hostility. Hostility from the people around us, hostility from the people that we work with all right and that we are trying to engage as well and especially with those we with which we do have a certain poignant history. Now this card when it comes as a topic it is very possible that someone will try to blame us about something or someone is going to try to make us guilty you know to seemingly guilty and that's why it's very important that one Scorpio is very aware of what their limitations were back in the time and what limitations that they do have right now. So one Scorpio does not surpass themselves and does not uh, kind to lose a sense of self-righteousness and a sense of justice as well because for the most of us it does look like that this is not going to be a, a fair treatment and then as this is a general for Scorpio for some of us it could be a, a fair treatment and that will be displayed here in the second card which is the chariot card so it's going to be a very um, how can I place it? This is a, a cry for one being forlorn. Uh, in the sense of that the, the core of the situation here points that we were very irrational or kind of like very hasty when it came to an execution of that particular enterprise. This this looks like a, a karma payback or kind of like the one needs to face the consequences of their previous actions. And I immediately know what this is all about. Uh, for me at least, I will tell you. Uh, um, it is because, you know, I had a championship to watch and I am late on my usual production and now I have to catch up with it and I know my limitations, you know, I already had um, a pretty kind of like tense conversation with my manager, with my team, etc, etc, but uh, and I, I am trying to do everything I can to get back on track here and I will get back on track but for me it is this, you know, that this week is it will play a role for me as a catch up. And I know that there will be someone here breathing on my neck and I know who that one is, but that is a good thing at least. But for you, that could be a, a very different uh, manifestation here because the chariot card, especially when it comes to romance, especially when it comes to, you know, dealing with people who, who has a emotional connection with you, these couple of card points that probably you chose one over another or you did something... Um, for your own personal well-being, not taking not taking under consideration that that deeply hurt it, I as someone who truly counted on you, and that week you Scorpio will have to suffer the consequences. Not necessarily bad though. Now it, it will depend how emotionally connected you are with that guy or with that girl, because this guy or a girl could be very much emotionally connected with you, but that doesn't mean that you are with them, right? So. The chariot card here points that you made a jump without um, taking them, these people, or these um, 
situations under consideration because probably at that time they did not concern you at all and yet again you have to be prepared for some uh, mental cruelty here from these people as they will try to make you feel guilty and you have to kind of figuratively spoken uh, dress yourself very very warm for the next week and then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the page of pentacles a a person who is very slow somehow um indulge with their personal uh, with their personal undertakings you know and it's kind of like it, it's kind of aggravating and annoying and that aggravation and annoyment will be the thing that you need to struggle probably you will have to do something with that guy or a girl most likely here and it kind of it will seem that you will kind of like a synergy now especially if it is about romantic interest or romantic relationship these people they like to be uh, a very slow with their approach you know they like to have for example a couple of weeks of chatting then a couple of weeks of phone calls then comes to the dating then comes to the flirting you know probably they will want you to go through friendship as well etc etc and as I'm I'm very strong Scorpio you know I have like a four or five planets into Scorpio I know that I don't have time for these things you know so that that will be the challenge here being aggravated by that but that person unwilling to catch up with you because they rather wants to have things traditional way or that they uh, you know they first wants to attend to a hundred percent to the very minor detail of the situation before they can actually make a move so they want to have a hundred percent warranty which we all know that this cannot be achieved in these days guys i mean you cannot be a hundred percent certain that something is gonna happen with a hundred percent um success around the way very important as well with the page of pentacles this is one of the key meanings here is that the challenge could be that you need to keep your possessions safe for the duration of the week i'm not talking about robbery but i'm talking about leak here that you may find yourself spending more resources than you have to all right so be very calculative as well spending your resources as, as especially when we do have the five of swords as we said you have to be very aware of your capabilities and your limitations you don't have you don't want to surpass yourself in any kind of uh in any kind of case with money you know with attention as well with um <clears throat> with personal capabilities so you have to be very mediocre when it comes to the week you know you go to work and you do work what you are supposed to do rather than to just try to shine there and resolve any kind of issues even if it is not your business you know and same thing goes for your relationship the one who is mediocre for the duration of the week is the one who is going to be able to move through um, in between the drops should I say that way and then we do have the last card here Scorpius which points to the um, guidance and the guidance it is very um, superficial here or rather like it is very abstract should I say because the moon card uh, first of all tells you that we need or tells us that we need to believe that that particular hostility and that particular um, kind of like actions we took in the past you know uh, they did had their meaning and they were kind of necessary it is just that particular hint for the necessity of those actions will be uncovered further into the future so with that card we should not feel ourselves obliged to um to explain ourselves or to feel ourselves guilty now just on the contrary here as an intentions and as the action especially the moon card asks us for the in that particular week to uh, try to combine our imagination with our creativity and with our wisdom as well and that will give us the insight we need you know why this is happening and how we can for example you know how we can reach a, a humbleness in peace with ourselves with the situation with our partner you know with that person here which feel which is feeling betrayed from us and while we did not do that with intentions to betray that person you know <clears throat> 
and because the uh, making peace here and recuperating friendship or a relationship that was broken on uh, based on our actions here or our inactions as well you know uh, that could be recuperated only through first that we forgive ourselves and we realize that what we did was the best possible course of action because it seems it was you know it is just someone else isn't understanding that and um, having having that we need to cope with that additional person here who is truly aggravating us is not going to help um, that uh, it's not going to help that we can find the solace and the solitude to um, to be able to obtain that particular knowledge and not knowledge but insight excuse me that's why here the predicament is quite severe and as this is a minor arcana scorpio you don't have to feel obliged to deal with this person you know you you can completely ignore them and just focus on your insight on and your further spiritual growth should i say that way so that was the tarot reading for you and now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you Scorpius. Just one second to shuffle. Because I didn't pre-shuffle here. And I have to shuffle now. Alright, so... We do have the sun, which kind of says success in a great amount of luck. Then we do have the sight, and then we do have um, the ring. So that is a, a quite peculiar because uh, our great success and amount of luck is going to sap and destroy a certain, a certain partnership. So we can see here in the Lenormand reading that this at these attacks here blames judgments and etc will be not because we betrayed that person but because we did it first all right and we end up on the upper hand while they wanted to be on um, on our spot right now so we do have uh, after all here with the Lenormand card it doesn't look like that you will be able to mend and recuperate that friendship or relationship but uh, the situation were either you or them this is what the Lenormand card says here and whatever friendship relationship communication um, or partnership it is ending for you for the duration of this week you need to know that that is um, the very best possible scenario for you even if it may not seem that way because sometimes the site here uh, represents pain it represents you know uh, a very forceful ending that kind of leaves us empty within but the sun card points here that this is for our greater good you know this is this happens out of a, a vast amounts of luck otherwise you know we value that friendship and and relationship and we wouldn't kind of being determined to do it on ourselves but that kind of ends thankfully to our what luck and to our success in our life that doesn't mean that we are successful into our career or relationship but our success could be leaning to um, the peacefulness that we do have because you know I, I I'm not I'm giving my, myself as an, an example because you know I'm a Scorpio here and I'm not rich person I you know I I do not I'm not loved you know but I am happy and I consider myself successful because I have established my life to be peaceful and it is what I want from this life. I like peace, I want peace and I want freedom, you know, and it is what I got. So basically I consider myself successful and with these cards I can see that someone else wants that for themselves, someone that was a uh, familiar to me from the past and that they envy me for that and that they will confront me for it in this week and will try to feel me bad about it so with that being said scorpios this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for august 27 to september 2nd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me again um 
everything you need to know is my website it is written down there in below in the description of this video and don't forget about the summer end sale which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes sale uh, in, upon the 30 minutes service so that being said I wish you best of luck in the week that it is yet to come and see you next time until then bye